Good morning, everybody, and this is Stuart back with some more Scrap Mechanic. Now, um, I have uh, some unfortunate news. Uh, I spent a long time kind of behind the scenes working on a walking robot um, that was big enough to be considered a base. I don't think it's possible. Um, actually, what tends to happen is when it gets too big, it just kind of crumbles into pieces. I don't know if that's intentional, like they want to limit the size of vehicles, in which case, why developers, why? Um, or if it's some kind of a, a bug with their the code. Yeah, I, I can't imagine them wanting to like hold hold builders back, you know, and uh, I, I want to believe that going forward in the future, maybe there'll be a patch, maybe something will be done, and you'll be able to build really big vehicles, but it, 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 the only way I can figure out how to do it and have it be like a, a quote-unquote walking base um, would be to connect like a whole bunch of these little guys in almost like a train and make it look kind of like a centipede. So I think I'm gonna have to table that project. I'm I'm disappointed too. I was uh, I was really looking forward to it, but it just I mean things just kept falling up to pieces, you know, and it just wouldn't hold itself together. And yeah, you know, um, why keep banging your head against a wall if uh, if you're making no progress on it? So I, I decided well, we're going to table it. We'll wait and see. Maybe they'll have a patch come out. Maybe there'll be a way to build large, large vehicles in the future. Maybe I'll figure out that I was doing something wrong with like where I was placing bearings or whatnot. I don't know. But in the meantime, we're going to have to give up on it because, unfortunately, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't want to like keep trying, trying, and and make no progress with it. So, um, what we're gonna do uh, instead? I I had a couple ideas. First, um, oh, and and you might be wondering, like, have I made the robot able to turn? No. <laughs> um, it, it, you can only attach a bearing to one controller. Um, so in order to make this work. If I want to do a left turn, a right turn, and reverse in addition to the forward, um, I would have to basically add extra joints for each of those actions. So, for instance, like instead of having just one joint where the six is, there'd be two extra ones for right and actually three for right, left, and then backwards. So, I'm going to wait and hold off on that. Um, I. I know that they are coming out with, this has actually been announced, um, a welding tool. So like with a welding tool, I'd be able to, say, pull the leg off, add extra joints to it, and then reconnect it together, which is going to be so awesome for building. <laughs> it's one of those things I think everyone's really desperate to see. But um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to hold off on fixing this guy up and doing like the version that can go forward and back and, and actually be a vehicle that you can control as opposed to something that you just kind of put down and ride. But uh, so far, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's, it's probably my best creation to date, <laughs> in my opinion. So um, I'm glad it works. I think it was worth the time I put in. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the, the whole walking robot concept. It just isn't going to work on a larger scale. Um, and believe me, I, I tried. It just falls apart. And I thought, oh, maybe that's just an issue with the controller. But the more I tinkered with it and tried, it just didn't want to work. So I thought about the base. And I definitely want to mess around with some of the other building materials. Um, since I really want to switch this to a survival game, like go into survival mode once it comes out. The thought of building like a really big complex base and then dropping the game to go into survival, I don't, I don't know if I like that idea. Um, so instead, I came up with it's gonna be kind of a fun, like smaller build, uh, but I think it'll it'll look really good and kind of show off some of these materials. You see here, I actually have a. Uh, all these like orange stair pieces. And what I want to do, I've actually started it, you may have seen it while I was jumping around. 
I started over here though. Um, I'm gonna build a watchtower. Now this thing, it's gonna go all the way up to the very top of this and have a big platform up there. I might even build like a tiny base at the top of it. Um, kind of make it look like a radio tower, uh, maybe, <laughs> or or like a ski resort lift or something of that nature. Um, you see here, I've got the. Uh, I want it to look like it's kind of like attached to this, and this is the main support for it. Even though I'll warn you now, you don't really want to use um, buildings as supports because when the game loads in, technically these aren't here, and I've had issues where like structures will kind of like fall down um, during the loading process. So it's it's something to keep in mind, and that might also have something to do with not having enough supports or attaching everything together properly but uh i i just like what i would do when you're building is always make sure that like this bit is attached to other bits um because the bits will support themselves and the bits don't they all load in at the same time so you won't have that issue but if you're relying on on say like if i had like a platform that was supported exclusively out by this i don't know it, it might work but it might not um, so that's just like, uh, uh, some advice. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, my whole plan is I want, I want to make this look kind of like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like if you've ever done any hiking or even some ski resorts will have this, but, uh, they have essentially like metal railings and stairs bolted into the side of cliffs and mountains that you can climb up. I, I want to give it kind of this look, so... That's what we're going to be working on today, just building this thing out and, uh, you know, trying to make it look as, as awesome as we can. So, um, the other the other thing I'm wondering about is how do you, and this is like, just me kind of learning, but like, see, I mean, I can build up like that, but it's not like you can kind of hold shift or whatever and lean out. You kind of just have to do this. It's a little frustrating. Um, I, wait, is control crouch? I wonder if I wonder if this works kind of. Nope, nope. See, so you just fall off the side. And it might get tricky as we get higher and higher up. Then to uh, build this thing. Um, but we're gonna try it. We're definitely gonna try it. I mean, for now, I can just hop over here. But uh, as we get higher and higher, I I don't know. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with a, a solution for how to properly place uh, these things as we go up. But yeah, I really like the stairs in this. They, they actually really swell. And uh, um, yeah, actually, like I'd like to remove these bottom ones as well. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it might be kind of hard to do as the, the higher and higher we get, but we can try it. Now... What I've been doing is just kind of putting this railing down and the railing will actually kind of glue these bits together, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I was able to, if you don't have the railing, what ends up happening if you go over here and say we want to remove these to make it kind of look a little more streamlined or um, like a manufactured thing as opposed to like a built up thing. Um, you can you can remove them from the bottom if you have these attached. If you don't, that thing just becomes free falling and will just you know plummet to earth. <laughs> so and hmm, see this is a tricky kind of the tricky uh, problem we're running into, and I don't know. We might need to have scaffolding to build our scaffolding. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I think this would be a fun little pro It's a fun little project. Yeah, see, it won't let you put it up completely for some reason. You just kind of have to... Yep, oh, <laughs> I did that. That was an accident, but it's a good way to showcase what, what I've been talking about. It, it will kind of just have it fall straight to the earth, but... I don't know, I, I do really like the art um, direction of this game. Now, what would be kind of cool, I think, is... Oh gosh, there's that glitch. 
I hope that, oh god, can you imagine that happening near the top of this thing? That'd be kind of cool, actually. I'd probably launch you. Okay. So, let's have another platform kind of pop out here. So hard to place. Um, yeah, and, and building is a little bit tricky, but we'll get there. Oh, I don't think it wants it there because this is getting in the way. Oh, that's a shame. But then it lets me put it there. Or I'm getting in the way. <laughs> yep, yep, that's the issue. Now I'm gonna extend this out too. To give us kind of a place where I can build a bit. Um, you know, and this is a simple construction. Uh, I think it's gonna look pretty nice when we're done. It'll look interesting at any rate. And uh, I know it's not like a full crazy, I've seen some really, really good bases out there actually. Um, um, just like, oh, I'll, I'll put a link to the, the guy's thing at the bottom of this, but I mean, he'll show up in search results. He's a, I believe he's a Minecraft veteran and he's just like, phew. Really amazing base. And he, of course he builds a scissor lift that <laughs> I struggled and struggled with him and did not. So it's, I'm not going to say I'm jealous, but I'm totally jealous. <laughs> um, maybe a longer one. Hmm. And the other, another idea we can maybe do is have like some scaffolding on this as it goes around the turn? I, I don't know. But yeah, I want this to kind of, kind of look patchwork, but at the same time also be, uh, that, that looked like it lined up. <laughs> yeah, I wish that you could kind of lean out a little bit. Um, I know you can do that in like Minecraft, like just by, you know, holding shift, but uh, scoot. That almost looks right. Oh, it's on top. Mm. See, I want it to be down one. Will it let me? Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. And see, I'm just going to have like random little like supports going into it and, and make it look like this thing is being held up by attaching to this tower. I think that'll, that'll be a really good effect. Um, I kind of want to put one underneath here as well. One going, yeah, maybe a short one will feel a little better. Uh, I guess I could have one out here. Now this is kind of a, a little tip um, for aesthetics, but it's a good idea sometimes to vary like the length of things. I'm actually gonna unattach that. I am. Um, It'll be too long. I think it'll it'll work a little better here. But yeah, if you watch, um, like really, if you want really good design, um, oh, I was hoping that would go into there. I mean, I could do something like that. And nah, what about what? How will it look going down? But yeah, if you want like really like interesting, just interesting design in general, you want to kind of do this like um, like how how I have it set up here, where you have like short and then long, and just vary the shape. It's it's a concept you learn um, as you as, if you've ever taken art classes. Uh, I've taken a few. I um. I won't say I'm the greatest artist in the world, uh, I'm not, <laughs> but I, I, I guess I, I just like, I'm I'm good at, like I, I mean, I can look at something and draw it, you know, and, uh, and I'm not going to say it looks completely realistic, because it doesn't, but um, I, can, I can do a decent job. Uh, um, I, I usually, though, I gravitate towards, hmm, I wonder, we could do like a tunnel up here. That might be kind of cool. I, th I want to extend this out one more. Let's get laid up. Um, yeah, this could be an issue going forward. Like, I wonder... Uh, how did I attach the stairs to this? Did I just have them next to it? Yeah, I just had it next to it. 
See, I don't want the stairs to go away. I want them kind of going out this way, so it does need to be one more out. Hmm. Eventually, I might have to, like, seriously build scaffolding and stuff just so I can line this up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I want. Um, oh, I want. Let me check. See if there's a way I can do like a an angled piece. Hmm. Apart from rotation, they don't seem to give me many diagonals. I B C. Not not feeling it on the I beams actually. Staircase railing join. Hmm, this might be interesting. Staircase out. I'm just gonna grab like anything that says staircase on it. Uh, yep. Okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's check out some of these joints. This might be a way to build them up actually. So what do they, I see. So they're kind of like, the end bits of that. How do they... I'm not in love with that. Yeah. Not feeling the energy. <laughs> are baluster... Oh, what, are, what, are, what are balusters? <laughs> Is that meant to be like... Um... I know what a balustrade is, but baluster... Maybe, maybe that's, it's meant to be like a, but you'd think it'd be matched up with that. I don't know, how does that look? It's not terrible, I don't hate it. Hmm. Yeah, we might, we might leave those actually, because I was wondering like how I was going to do like a little railing of some kind and these are nice. They're, they're kind of short and wide open. And that's one thing that I think is really good about this game so far is they've done um, just an awesome job of uh, giving it some character, you know, <laughs> or like the, the various things you can do with just the art they provided or the objects that they provided. It's it, You can get very artistic and creative with it, and I like that a lot. I guess that looks okay. Well, let's get a view from down here. It's not bad. It's, it's a little bit orderly, and I was kind of hoping to make this a little bit, not so much ramshackle, but kind of just funny looking, I, you know? And I don't know. May, maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I'll leave it for now. I mean,. It, it also doesn't blend that well. I guess you can double them up. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that doubled up. Um. I wish it was taller. I wish it matched up with the railing piece. I think that would be the way to go. You know, if it could uh, actually match up with it. Um. Do they give any other little? See, so they got banister, baluster. I, I honestly, I don't know what a baluster is. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> Learned a new word. Kind of cool. Short railing. Long. See, they're called those the railings. So I think. Well, I already have it on my hotbar. I think what you're meant to do is actually. Put these down. They don't, they're not the same height either. What about the long ones? Too long. Maybe like that? That's okay. Um, then there's a short railing underneath. Yeah. I don't know. I do want some kind of a railing, but I feel like these balusters are maybe a bit much. Just a little gaudy. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's try taking them off and using the railings as... It's just me kind of 
messing around a bit. That's part of base design, you know, just testing things out. Okay. It kind of makes it a little tricky, though, for those corners if we're doing something like that. Hmm. I don't know. I almost am thinking leave it wide open. <laughs> Oh, uh, gosh. Decisions, decisions. Well, I'm gonna, like, take this off for now, and I'll think about it. I, I, I mean, having a railing would be... it makes sense. <laughs> um, not to mention, um... Gosh, the one thing, I, I wish there was a fa like even faster way of removing stuff, but... Okay, so... Now, we want... But we want it on the side there. This is what I mean. It's it's kind of you almost have to like get one, then put like a little walkway. Can I get underneath that? Because I I want it to have the railing there holding this up, but I need something underneath it. Uh, there. Okay. And that's just temporary to hold it. And then we should be able to put the railings here, and that should hold it. If I, if I did it right. Oh, that's interesting. Build a railing out like this. Huh. I kind of like the, the look of that, even though it's obviously backwards, but it's not bad. That's, that's it, you know, like, eventually you just gotta get, um, kind of creative and come up with interesting uses for things. Okay, and so now what we can do is, um, slowly but surely build it up. And just, up. Oh. Just climbing. Why? Oh, oh, it's because, um... Well, can I actually just, I don't think, see, this is the thing, like, if I could attach this and then attach the next one, that'd be ideal. I could, ah, doesn't quite want to let me get, it let me do that, but, well, if I line this up properly, see, because I'm standing where it wants to put it, hmm, we're starting to get high uh, enough up off the ground that, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, how did I attach it down here? I think I actually did, no, I didn't. Oh, it's because I had a platform to stand on. Uh, well, we might have to just start adding like dummy platforms that I can walk out on add a bit and then walk back which is it just takes longer to build <laughs> um will it mm. <laughs> oh that's frustrating i mean yeah i can jump down here and attach that but what happens if we're as we get closer and closer to the top you know it it eventually will become a pretty big problem. Um, I think, yeah, we we'll just have to build some kind of a scaffold, which, not ideal. I'm not gonna lie, not ideal. <laughs> uh, well, it just, just let me put it underneath. Oh, that's frustrating, I think. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to build some kind of a thing for as we go around this, which... That's, that's not good. <laughs> they need a better way um, in this game to, to reach and put things down. I, I guess for a little while I'll be able to use the lift, but, I mean, this thing's going high. You know, it's, it's going to eventually be out of reach of the lift even um hmm yeah i think i'm i'm going to, uh i'm gonna have to build a scaffold 
in order to build a scaffold. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Ugh. Gross. Whoop. Already. Already. Like, I'm so glad that there isn't fall damage in the game because psh, I'd be done for. <laughs> I'd be totally done for. Um, I really feel like this needs something holding it up. It looks funny this far out without any kind of support. Hmm. I mean, I can maybe slip. See, ideally, it would come out from, like, uh, this direction. Let's see if that I can get that to, to attach and not look too weird. Yeah, it's, this is just going to be me kind of fooling around. I, I don't, I already don't like it. <laughs> um, okay, if we go up a few more stairs, then have that going in, that'll, that'll look okay. Hmm. Yeah, it just... I feel like it's just getting too long, and I, I don't like having to put, you know, like, three or four of these down. It, it, it just doesn't look right. Um. Well, I don't know. Oh, yep. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling that, um, because I mean, what happens as we climb higher and higher, you know, eventually I won't even be able to put things in. I want it to be more about it trying to attach to the wall. Like, if I could do an angle one, that'd be brilliant, but I mean, no, and there's just really nothing. I don't think you can attach stuff to wedges, but I'm going to check. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We should put up like a danger sign so people are like, oh no, it's dangerous. Oh, I had the wedge. Let's put that there. Little sign. Um, where to put it? <laughs> I mean, you'd think it would be like right here, but with a thing going across it. I wish you could see the outline of signs. No, uh, I'll, I'll come up with a way to put that up, like up on a pipe or a post or something, make it look like an actual sign. But uh, for now, we need to get some progress on this, huh? Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a real quick break and uh, be back in a second.